so I am just going to be doing a little tutorial on how to do a simple 3D room in After Effects. It's how to do it simple and easy because I don't think a lot of people do tutorials like this that are just simple. The first thing you're going to want to do is uh, ignore these. So you want to find an image of a wall. Um, and that can be like any image of a wall. I think I use one like similar to this or something like that. I already have one, so okay. So now what you want to do with the first wall, gotta make sure to turn 3D on. You just want to scale it just however you want the biggest wall to be, and then uh, if you want all the walls to look the same, which I usually do. Uh, you're going to want to duplicate it, and then change the Y rotation. And again, if you don't have this option, make sure you check the 3D box. So you're going to want to change the Y rotation a little bit. Um, you could change it to a full 90 degrees. And then you're going to snap it to this edge by checking the snapping box and then you just snap to the edge of things and make sure you're clicking towards the edge that you want to snap because if you snap all the way from here then it'll try to snap the middle so make sure you're clicking the edge and then do <laughs> sorry i accidentally clicked the layer okay and you're gonna duplicate that again Ugh. which is control d by the way that's what duplicate is, or you can go to edit, um, duplicate, and then negative 90 degrees for the other side. Actually, I think I am going to keep it 90 degrees, but you can change it a little bit if you want to. I don't know what you prefer. And then for the floor, uh, again, you can just search a floor, and you want to just get like a flat image because um yeah it's, that's how i don't know <laughs> how else to explain it um and for this one you're gonna want to change the x rotation to first i would just start with 90 degrees and then if you need to adjust it okay and so for the floor if it's like not the right size then just scale it until it's big enough to cover this whole thing and then for the ceiling you could probably get away with using the same image but i have a different image that i use so yeah you're gonna put the ceiling on um oops and for all of this, you want to change, you want to turn on the 3D since you're working with something 3D and it's, yeah, that's why. <laughs> um, and snap it to the top of the building, scale it, and that's the basic room. Um, and I'm going to add more stuff to this because as you can see, I'm working on a Vanessa Morgan edit. So, um, if, uh, you want to, you can add, like, I'm going to add a picture of Vanessa Morgan on the wall. So, for that, you just, it's not, this, this part isn't really too complicated. You just want to scale it and position it. Ooh, make sure you turn the 3D on because, yeah, so you want to scale it. <laughs> and position it um however you prefer um and usually what i do is i add s drop shadow i think there's probably um shadows for normal after effects without any plugins too but i just use s drop shadow because that's what i'm used to and just change the shadow to look great because it looks more realistic when there's a shadow on it um, and I'm going to add some more stuff to this, but when you're all done, you do new camera and then, um, you do new 
null object and then you change the camera to parent the null um, and if you want to do things like scale and position and whatnot then you just do the timestamp and it'll that, that's audio I'm using <laughs> you just do the timestamp and you scale it and you can just zoom in and then it creates a zoom that's not how I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to be a little more precise than that. But that's how you do it. So yeah, that's basically how you make a 3D room in the most basic way possible. Um, and yeah, uh, I would just play around with it a little bit and see what you can do. Because I always like do things like at tables, at beds, and just be creative with it so yeah that is how you make a 3d room in after effects there you go hope this was helpful i guess yeah